guys welcome back i hope you guys have had a great week it's been a great week over here in today's video we're going to be doing a q a i asked you guys on instagram recently all of you who are on instagram if you could send me some questions that you might have and so today we're going to go over those i've also had a lot of questions recently about how my gym experience is going and my health weight loss journey <laughs> um it's going really good i'm really excited about it so i'll share that with you today as well all right let's get into these questions i typed them up on my laptop here so it would be easier to read them off so let's just jump into it um how long have you been married any wedding photos we got married october 23rd 2010 so it's been a minute <laughs> going on 13 years um any wedding photos i can insert one over here for you guys to see i actually shared uh, more than this i think in a previous q a so i'll see if i can link those below if you want to check those out um how is timmy's health timmy's actually been doing pretty good we haven't had any major issues recently he hasn't had any falls he's been getting around better been walking with his walker a lot more as i told you in a previous video um, we're trying to get him stronger so we're trying to use the wheelchair only if he has to walk very far so a lot of the doctor's offices we go to um, it's not very far from the parking lot to the office so he will use his walker he uses his walker at dialysis um, but like if we were to go in walmart or in a store or you know the hospital or something like that that's a bigger area with more walking he would need to use the wheelchair because he can't walk that far um, his balance is still a very big issue yesterday we had to go to a follow-up at um his eye doctor has followed up from his cataract surgery and you know he almost tripped and fell i had to literally hold him and steady him to keep him from falling he gets his feet um he can't feel his feet because of neuropathy so he kind of gets them tangled up sometimes or he walks with them too close together they're not spaced out you know most people walking their feet are not together when they're walking and he tends to put his together and i you know I'll, i walk with him so i usually will hold on to his belt loop most of the time um that way if he starts to stumble i can pull him back but um he's doing very good his legs are getting stronger the balance issues um when they were doing home health physical therapy with him they said that that's not likely something that's going to get better so we just have to be very careful when he's up walking as far as his cataract surgery goes it went very well we had to go uh, Tuesday morning he had to be there at 6 30 and it didn't take very long at all he said it was a little uncomfortable but that's only because he has trouble laying still when he's flat on his back um, he has spinal stenosis so his back hurts him and he has trouble sitting still so um, other than that it went fine he did get hiccups <laughs> which was quite funny they had told me they'd come get me in like 20 minutes and it was longer than that and i was like i hope everything's okay and when she came out she's like he got hiccups so we had to go ahead and go to the next patient and see if he would stop because if not they were gonna have to cancel it and reschedule which uh, that would have kind of sucked but um thankfully he got over them and they were able to do the surgery so that was kind of funny um so the cataract surgery went great he's actually already not using his glasses we have to go back next tuesday for the other eye his right eye and hopefully he won't need glasses at all once it's finished he he didn't wear them yesterday because he said it was more blurry with the glasses on than it was without so he went without them and he said he can see already see pretty good out of that eye and but his follow-up yesterday they said it should get even better because his eye was still pretty dilated they said so we have high hopes for the vision thing as i said he will still have to go get injections in his eyes every month for the blood that is behind there um, to keep that from building up and you know causing vision problems again but as far as the cataracts that's a one and done thing he'll never have to have it done again so we're very thankful that he was able to do that and that his vision has improved so that's just so great but yeah lots of good things going on over here how did you and timmy meet we actually met in 1994 and i had um, like a tight little friend group that i was like best friends with we hung out all the time and one of my best friends 
um, had a brother, an older brother, and Timmy was actually his best friend. So I saw him quite a bit just because he was with my friend's brother a lot, and that's how we met. We actually ended up um, reconnecting over Facebook many years later, um, around the end of 2009. We actually got married in October of 2010. What is your favorite restaurant? Um, I don't know that I have a favorite restaurant. <laughs> um, let's see. We don't have a lot around here to choose from. I do like Mexican food. I like Chinese food. I, I like all the food. <laughs> um, I really like Cheddar's. Um, we go there quite a bit. I like their ribs. They're really good. They also have something called Key West Chicken and Shrimp that's really good. It's like grilled chicken with rice and pineapple. And it has this, um, I don't know what kind of sauce it is, but it has the sauce you dip it in. And that's really good as well. I recommend that. What are your favorite storage solutions for a small space? I guess the best thing I could say is just to think outside of the box, to use as much vertical space as you can. I have the metal wire shelving on the backs of my um, closet doors and my pantry door, and those hold a lot of stuff. So um, I definitely recommend those. Also storage like under your bed, um, using furniture pieces that can double as storage for things other than clothes. Like you could store um, sheets and linens in a dresser, things like that. But I'll definitely get more into that in a, a future video that I'm doing all about storing and organizing. So if you're interested in that, keep an eye out. Did you get rid of your other kitchen appliances and how's the kitchen storage now? Yes, I did get rid of the other kitchen appliances. I am very happy to be rid of them. My kitchen is so much more functional now. I can't even tell you, like, it used to stress me out digging through these cabinets to get something out. I'd have to move half the stuff that was in there to get to what I wanted and it was just aggravating. I didn't want to fool with it. My new china cabinet that I got also helped with that so much because I was able to move all of my bigger things like my crock pot and bigger serving dishes, cake plate, things like that into the bottom of that. Also getting all of my pretty white dishes out from um, my island. I keep all of my dishes in my island. So I was able to move all of those out and put them in my china cabinet. And now I have more of just my everyday dishes in my island now um i'm not saying we don't use the dishes in the china cabinet because we do but we use more of the ones that are in the island just for like everyday use so that's helped out so much i do keep my ninja oven under the counter now since i've gotten rid of all those other um appliances it fits under there thankfully so i don't have to keep it up on my counter because i have very little counter space so that works out great. It is a little heavy. I'm not saying like it's super easy to pull it out and stick it up there, but I don't use it every day. So it's fine. I use my electric skillet the most. Um, I use that thing for everything. That's my favorite thing to cook with is my electric skillet. Um, it's out on the counter most of the time. <laughs> I'll be sure to show you what that looks like and how that functions for me in my storage video. So again, keep an eye out for that one. Are you guys planning more vacations this year? Last year's were fun to watch. Oh, I'm glad you enjoy watching those. I'm never really sure if that's something that you guys wanna see or not. So I try to make it fun. I really love filming vacations. That's one of my favorite things to film, things that I'm doing or going out and like with my friends or my family or Timmy and I are out just sightseeing or exploring somewhere. Those are my favorite things to film. So um, before I ever started YouTube, I made videos of just my family and life. I have tons of videos from going years and years back. So even in high school, like I feel like this really was my calling so to speak because even in high school i would pack a video camera to school sometimes <laughs> i was always filming my friends and making videos so um it's just in my blood i love photography and i love making videos 
sorry i kind of got off track there um will we go will we be going on vacations this year yes i am hoping to do like a short beach trip maybe in may one of my best friends lives at Fort Walton Beach and I really want to go visit her and Timmy would like to go to the beach also. You guys may remember I took him to the beach back um, last year but it was super cold. It was too cold for him to actually go out on the beach. So hopefully this time it'll be warm. I'm hoping I can rent a beach wheelchair. My friend said they had those there. Um, and he'll actually be able to go out on the sand, get his toes in the water, hopefully. And I'm really excited about that. Um, we also plan on taking a trip in the fall. Those are my favorite times to go anywhere is fall because I don't like extremely hot weather. So fall time is my ideal time to go on vacation. So we'll probably be going somewhere like October, November-ish. What did you do for a living before you started YouTube? I stopped working at the end of 2019, like the very end of 2019. I actually worked at a real estate office. I was an office manager there for, I believe it was around five or six years. And before that, I worked for a loan company. I was the office manager there as well. We moved here in August of 2019, and I didn't really start making YouTube videos until I think it was July of 2021. So we had actually lived here for a while before I started working on YouTube. What did Timmy do before he became disabled? Timmy was actually a DJ at a local radio station. He did the oldies rock and roll portion of the um, radio broadcast. As you can imagine, that's totally up his alley and he loved it. He really loved it. Will you be planting veggies in your above ground garden bed this spring? Yes, I believe I'm going to. I didn't have great luck with it last year, but I didn't really know what I was doing. So. Um, I just planted any random things in there. I didn't really research what I should plant in there. So I really need to get started on that and figure out what is good to plant in a raised garden bed. So if y'all have any suggestions, let me know. I like most vegetables, but I would really like to plant things that I eat regularly and um, I really like cherry and grape tomatoes. I like green onions peppers, um, cucumber, squash. I do want to plant some herbs. I really like planting fresh rosemary, oregano, uh, basil. So I'll be planting those. I planted lemon balm last year. I really enjoyed that. I really don't know a lot about gardening. So if any of you have any suggestions on what I should plant in there, let me know. Also, if you have any tips on how to make it grow, <laughs> Um, that'd be great as well. What's your favorite thrift spot and why? Um, I would say the thrift spot that I go to the most is Goodwill. I also really enjoy going to Grace and Mercy and um, the Peddler's Mall that they have in Hopkinsville. It's actually called The Closet. Um, I find some good things in there, some good deals. There's a couple of booths in there that I really like. Um, honestly though, I find the most stuff at Goodwill. That's just the truth. I wish I could say differently because I know some people don't like Goodwill and I know um, sometimes their prices are high, but I really do find some good deals in there and some good items. So that's just, that's just how it is. <laughs> so I guess I would have to say Goodwill. What's your biggest goal you've set for this year? My biggest goal for this year is actually to take better care of myself. So, um, I'd say the last two years, last year I did a little better. 2020 was just like, I'm sure as it was for everybody. <laughs> it just went down the tubes. So, um, I did a little better yet last year and then this year I'm really like hardcore going at it. So my goal is just to get healthy, to feel better and um, just 
practice better um, self-care, I guess you can say. My battery died yesterday when I was working on my Q&A, so I'm going to finish it up after I drop Timmy off today. Well, it just recorded with Steffi because it's short. TikTok video or something it's, like that. <laughs> it's a YouTube video. It's a YouTube video. Yeah. Let yeah. me walk a fella in. Walk a fella in. Love you. Love you. I'll see you in a little while. Have a good day. You see the wheels, Timmy's wheelchair in the back. Ignore that. Um, I've kind of got my camera rigged up here on my um, dash. So I am sitting here in the parking lot at Planet Fitness. My friend and I are going to go in here in about 25 minutes. She always meets me here after I drop Timmy off um, at dialysis. So I wanted to finish up the Q&A. A lot of the questions that I got were about um, the gym, how um, we work out, and different weight loss questions. So I'm going to answer the rest of those as I sit here and wait. I got the questions here in the notes on my phone. So somebody asked what made me to what made me decide to start going to the gym and basically it was just because I just felt bad all the time. I was extremely tired. I had no energy. Um I just I woke up in the morning tired. I had some insomnia. Um just basically overall mentally and physically I just didn't feel good. I didn't I didn't have any motivation. I was having trouble getting my videos done, having trouble keeping my house clean. My house was a mess all the time and um I just decided that I was going to do a little life overhaul if you will. And thankfully it did make a big difference. So I'm glad that I've made these changes. Um so far so good. <laughs> Uh, the next question is, how often do you go to the gym? I go to the gym three times a week. I go on the days that Timmy's at dialysis, so I'm here usually for an hour three times a week. I would come more than that. Honestly, I enjoy going if it was closer to my house, but um, it's not. And I really... I don't know it's hard it'd be hard for me to come on days when i'm not already in town here just because a lot of times timmy has doctor's appointments on the days when we don't have dialysis and it's just a lot going on i'm working on videos and editing and stuff so i stay busy most of the time um but occasionally i might be able to get over here on a day off so far i haven't <laughs> but three days a week is doing good it's keeping me motivated and i feel i have a lot of energy and i feel good so that's working out for me. What does Timmy think about you going to the gym? He's excited for me. He sees how much better I feel. And he tells me every day when I drop him off that he's proud of me for going and working out. And um, that he's glad that I feel better. So, he's very supportive. Are you eating low carb or doing keto? I'm not doing keto. I have done keto before in i think it was 2018 i did keto and i did really well on it i lost 70 around 70 to 75 pounds it keto you lose weight fairly quickly i kind of really fell off of it after we moved and we moved here and i started staying home and not working at the end of 2019 and then over 2020 and 2021 i gained most of that weight back i started eating a little healthier at the beginning of last year and i lost about 30 pounds over the course of 2022 so far since i have started going back to the gym wednesday was five weeks that we've been going and i've lost about 10 pounds over those five weeks um i was sharing on instagram this jean jacket that i had um, put in the back of my closet because it was too tight on me. I had ordered it online and when I got it, it was too tight and I just never took it back to the store here. Um, I pulled it out. I was going through all of my winter clothes and putting them in totes to store them for the summer, spring and summer. And, um, I put, pulled that jacket out and put it on and it fit me and not only fit me, but I was able to like wrap it around a little bit so that was super exciting so this time around i am not doing keto even though it was a good way to lose weight and i lost it fairly quickly it wasn't 
like sustainable for me. I can't stay on that for the rest of my life. So I really need to learn how to live a normal life and just eat normal and learn how to portion control and to eat healthier food um, without all of the, the stuff. Like realistically eating all of that, like I ate a lot of bacon and cheese and um you know all of this stuff and I started keto with a friend of mine and she actually ended up getting some negative feedback from her doctor about it her cholesterol was really high and I don't know it just wasn't great so that's not why I stopped because this I found this out later after I'd already stopped but I just don't think it's for me. A lot of people have great success for it. I'm not knocking it whatsoever. Do whatever works for you. Um, that's just not what's what I'm doing this time. This time I'm doing, I am doing low carb, but I'm not counting my carbs. I'm just keeping an eye on how many carbs are in everything that I eat. Make sure it's not that many. And um, I'm more focused on calories, keeping below my calorie amount. So, I do use my fitness pal to track things, and I use it to track my weight. I have used that for years and years, and so I can go back and see over time, like, where I started at and how my weight has gone up and down because I have lost weight and gained weight numerous times. Um, and it's discouraging and it's hard. It's always hard every time to start back, but once you get started and get going... Um, you just start to feel so good that it, it motivates you. So if you're one of those who have lost weight before and you gained it back and you're discouraged, just get back in there. Get back in there and start again. Because all that matters is that you pick yourself up and you keep going. That's all there is to it. The longer you wait, the longer it's going to take you to lose the weight. So if you're thinking about it, if you're thinking about going to the gym or you're thinking about changing your diet, then, you know, just go ahead and do it. Just do it. But always, I'm not a professional in any kind of way, so make sure you consult with a healthcare professional, your doctor, before you make changes to your diet or exercise. I have to put that little disclaimer in there because I don't want to give anybody any recommendations that could be harmful to you. So be sure that you check with your doctor. All right, next question. Do you have any advice on shopping for clothes when you're losing weight? Um, yes. My advice would be to shop at the thrift store. Um, I've been getting some clothes at Goodwill recently. If you're dropping pounds and you're going to continue to lose weight and go down sizes, it really doesn't make sense to go out and buy new clothes. Like, clothes are expensive. Um, I did recently go and buy a pair of jeans and a sweater. Um... I probably shouldn't have done that, but I was just so excited. <laughs> um, and I did look at Goodwill for some jeans, and I didn't find any that I liked there. So, I really wanted a pair of jeans, and I hadn't bought jeans in forever. When I tried them on and they fit me, I was just too excited. <laughs> I had to buy them, so I did. But other than that, I've been getting picking up some things at Goodwill because I have went down in my clothing size. And I got um, three pair of workout pants to wear to the gym um i think two of them were half off so they were three dollars and something and they look brand new and they were from academy so um they were good quality that's where i usually get my leggings anyway well they weren't really leggings but you know what i'm talking about workout type pants um and they were two of them were capris so that's good because it's going to be getting warm soon but that's my advice is just shop at the thrift store because there's no sense wasting a bunch of money on clothes that you're not going to wear for very long. Hopefully, fingers crossed. The next question was, can you show me your routine at Planet Fitness? So we always start out on the treadmill. We do 15 minutes and each week we increase our incline and our speed. Look at this girl, a 7 <laughs> and a 20. Excellent. Next, we move on to the bike. We are doing 10 minutes, currently at a level five, and we usually can do three miles in that time. Get it, Kathy, get it. <laughs> this really works those leg muscles. We're usually about to die by the time we're finished. 
How do they do that on that soul cycle where they like standing up and sitting in? You think that? Oh, there ain't no way. Next, we move on to the hip machine. These kind of machines are my favorites. These and the leg machines. I don't know why. I'm just stronger in my legs, I guess, and I just like them better. Bring out the thighs and the hips. Go, Kathy. Go, Kathy. <laughs> Go, Steph. Go, Steph. <laughs> I'm currently doing this on a five with 85 pounds. You are on 40. I will. Cheating. Cheating. I gotta keep an eye on you. <sighs> Machines are side by side. One is for your hips and the other is for your thighs. One you push out and then the other you pull in. So I'm gonna show you the other one I'm fixing to do here. This was on a different day, so I do have on different clothes. You gotta put your foot. Mm. How was that again? <laughs> Ta-da! Very good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do 85. So on this one, you gotta pull your legs out. Like this. Some days we do the arm machines, and some days we do legs. This is one of the arm machines that we use. Okay. Here we go. Hard, ain't it? it is. For some reason, the left arm is much harder than the right. And I don't know if it's because we use our right hands and arms more. I don't know. But it's super hard. I did 10 on each arm. I've never used this one before. Look, you see that? That's perspiration. Your sweat on your brow. That's determination. <laughs> determination. Perseverance. And then this is the other arm machine that we use. My friend is a good sport letting me film her. We're doing the backwards ones on 25. Good job, Kathy. You can do it. You got this. Do you reckon that targets like the... The roll back here, you get under your bra strap. Okay. <laughs> Which way do you think is easier, this way or the other way? This way is easier. Yeah. In the end, it's all about you <laughs> and me. And we always finish out at the end with five more minutes on the treadmill. Every day I'm hustling, hustling. <laughs> Let's don't question it. Let's just appreciate it. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm wearing my hustle shirt. It was good. We're at a seven incline. When we first started, we could only do like two. We was on two. Okay. Two incline. We're up to seven. Somebody in the comments in my first video about working out said, but 11, wasn't it? Didn't I tell you you put on 11? Yeah, you did. 11, girlfriend. No. No, it wasn't. It was 15. 15! We can't do 15. Give us a couple years. <laughs> can't do yet is let go of these handles. Because I will fall and go flying. It's that wall back there. It's bump. One month. We made it. We did make it. They say if you do anything for 30 days, it becomes a habit. Well, that's good then. Do we, are we, we, do a ha do we have a habit? Maybe. Maybe? <laughs> I think so. Are you feeling good about it? I do feel good. I do you feel, feel like you have more energy? I do. More Sorry, energized. excuse me. More energized. More energized. Feel good when you leave? I feel like I got more strength. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. We're going to keep at it. Aren't we? We can do it. We can do it. You can do it too. All right, I've got about eight minutes before my friend's supposed to be here, so I'm going to wrap up these questions. My next one is... Um, what kind of foods are you eating to lose weight? So, like I said, I'm doing lower carbs. I do, I find that when I am trying to lose weight and I'm on a, like a, a wellness journey, as we call them, um, I usually eat breakfast, whereas when I wasn't, I didn't really eat breakfast that much, but, um, I get up a lot earlier now, used to, like I was telling you guys on Instagram, 
before I started this again, I would sleep as late as possible. And then when I did get up, I didn't want to get up. I was just exhausted. I would wake up exhausted. And um, I definitely wouldn't eat breakfast or anything. I just would just get up and do what had to be done. And I would feel like, you know, I had that here we go again kind of feeling like I got to do all this again today. And now I can honestly say I get up early like when Timmy goes to dialysis we have to leave our house at uh, about 9 15 somewhere around there and before I would sleep till like 8 and that would give me just enough time to get myself ready and get help Timmy get a shower and get ready and all that and um, give him something to eat if he wanted something which usually he doesn't eat breakfast but um, now I'm up at like 6 o'clock I get up I get my house straightened up that never happened before believe me get my house straightened up my dishes are washed before i leave the house my bed is fairly made i don't like make it make it but you know the bedspread is a comforter is over the bed and everything like that you know everything's picked up um and honestly before i started this like you know five weeks ago my house was mess i just didn't have the motivation or the like energy to keep it up i just i just didn't and now i do i wake up and i feel energetic i feel motivated i feel happy and um it's just it's such a big change and timmy notices it too he's like i'm so glad you feel better i'm like yeah me too i'm so glad i feel better and i'm sure it's a combination of things eating healthier um, I drink a lot of water now, going to the gym, getting exercise, and then also medication. I do take medication um, and vitamins. Like, I made a lot of changes over the last five weeks, and they have made total difference in my life. So, um, if you're feeling very poorly, if you're feeling like I was, and... It's not going to change unless you change it. That's just the truth. And I know it's hard when you're in that mindset to make the changes, but you got to. You just do. Or you're just going to have to keep being miserable. And I know you don't want that, and I definitely don't want that for you. So, um, if you need, if you have any questions, feel free to message me. I'm more than happy to help you out as much as I can. But, um, like I said, I'm not any kind of healthcare professional or physical fitness professional or anything like that. So, um, make sure you talk to somebody who knows more about these things than I do. All right, my friend just pulled in, so we're going to head in here to the gym. I'm ready to get going for the day. Thank you guys so much for listening, and yeah, I'm, I'm just really, really happy with life right now. Just call him Dr. Tim. I'm the Dr. Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Picked him up from dialysis and he came out like this. It's like, uh, this is new. <laughs> what happened? My access started bleeding. Hmm. So we got blood all over my sweater. And so they, they put it in the bag. And so they put this on you to keep you warm? Yeah. So <laughs> I went out that was a nice of them. Yeah. Very thoughtful. Yeah, they're good people. <laughs> I thought they'd done put you to work. <laughs> you there so much, they're just going to give you a job. I told them they was rubbing off on me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You Finally Friday. Are you happy? TGIF? TGIF times three. <laughs> I swear cats lay in the weirdest positions. <laughs> I'm working on editing a video and... <laughs> Bonnie wants to play. <laughs> Bonnie, what do you want? <laughs> Did you see her? Did you see what she was doing? Mm -hmm. She had her head resting on top of my laptop, looking at me with her teeth shining. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Hi, Timmy. Hello, Stephanie. How are we doing today? Wonderful, wonderful. Get ready to play a little music for you. All right, what are you playing for us today? Can't even walk without you holding my hand. All right. Good song, good song. Okay. So, number one, was 
Sweet chariot or something like that. Oh, Is that what it was? Well, let's hear it. I don't know. Let's sing what you do know. It was, sounded really good. effort <laughs> is that the right word <laughs> so tell them about your cataract surgery how'd you feel about it oh I'm tickled to death about it not wearing any glasses mm -hmm. and we've only gotten one eye done so far yeah, and you can still already see oh yeah I can so see much better see so much better yeah the first time he's able to shave himself look at this if he can see well enough, usually I have to do it for him. Right. That's the first time I've seen my... Yourself? A long time. A very long time. He was able to see it pretty good, huh? Pretty good. Yeah, you got a nice line there. Well, I get that other eye done, it's going to be... Uh, see the moon? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a little fuzzy over here, but... On the side you haven't gotten done yet? Mm -hmm. Um, How was the surgery? Like, there, I've got some people who commented and messaged me and said that they need the cataract surgery but they're scared to do it so you have they any give, they give you medicine where before you do it where you don't lots of drops you had like you got a ton of drops in your eyes before they're numbing it up and numbing like and uh dial dilating it and just they put drops in there like three different times 15 minutes apart and it was like five 
drops I'm wanting to say each time each time yeah um it's not nothing scary like you see in the needles right you, they have you so the medicine they give you makes it so you don't care Twilight. about what they're doing Twilight medicine. gotcha okay that makes sense which is a good thing <laughs> and it was over quick just like that yeah. yeah so you would recommend that they go and have it done oh yes if you need it and you're worrying about it, then, then you know the Bible says trust in the Lord. So that's what I do. Amen. It's still trusting in Him. Amen. I hope you are too. Coming in for a real treat today, my niece Haley has been learning piano, and she's getting really good at it. So she's gonna play a song for you. What is this? Moonlight, Moonlight Sonata by Beethoven. Oh. Who starts out with Beethoven? I don't <laughs> need. <laughs> Overachiever here. <laughs> She also plays flute in band and does marching band, so she's t super talented. She can march and play at the same time. I'm amazed. <laughs> and now we're learning the piano, so we're super impressed. All right, here we go. Thought that can like no, but there I was can, like a really good spot. Though. Okay, okay, I can, okay, I can put it together. Go ahead. Let me show you a good spot. Okay, put show me a good spot. Okay, put, me a good spot. <laughs> Put me a good spot. That's one of my favorite songs, Moonlight Sonata. Mm-hmm. By Beethoven. She did it justice. Oh my, I'm impressed. So, you got another one in you? Got one more, man. There's an old Hank Williams tune. What? I saw the light. That ain't a Hank Williams tune, yeah, is he it? Wrote it? Really? Mm -hmm. I did not know that. Yeah. Learned something new today. Pretty sure he did. Pretty sure, but not not positive. <laughs> Let's ask Alexa. Hold on. I'll do it off camera so everybody's a look so I won't start looking for it. Okay, so uh, it was not Hank Jr. We asked Alexa, and he was not one of the writers, so. Hank Williams done it, I guess. Hank Williams sang it? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, that's what you're thinking? Okay. Yeah. All right, we just want to get it straight. 
Make sure we're telling accurate information here. <laughs> Let's hear it. So aimless, not feeling the same. I wouldn't live by dear Savior. Just like a blind man got back inside. Praise the Lord. I saw the light. I saw the light. I saw the light. trying to steal the show today usually it's Bonnie <laughs> what are you doing buddy where are you going oh, he's huge, Jamie. yeah he's big oh. Timmy used to be allergic to cats <laughs> used to he could rub a cat and his eyes would water and, and get all itchy but he hasn't had any problems with Remy I don't know yeah, it's weird that. isn't it <laughs> Very weird. Yep. Even in dogs, too. You used to would pet somebody's dog and you'd end up itching and your eyes would water, but for whatever reason. Even if I was in a place where the dogs had been. Had been, yeah. And he, he has been shedding over the winter. During When we first got him, he didn't ever hardly shed, but over winter, he's been shedding some. So, thank goodness it hasn't affected him. I guess you just mm -hmm. overcome that allergy. Is that something that happens? I didn't know it could happen. Because you were around cats when you were little. When you were growing up, you had cats. Yeah. But then you just developed an allergy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's weird. We don't know how, but we're, we're glad. <laughs> Thanks for singing along again today, friends. Hope to see you back next week. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, friends, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by and visiting with me again today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great week ahead. We will see you in the next video. Bye.